I'm doing some initial testing, so I'm uh, adjusting the voltage. And I have the 1 ampere dummy load, so. Uh, and also the way I'm pulling the power out of. Up to the cable and pulling it isn't very good because I'm pulling it through the breadboard first and uh, the thing that happens then is that um, I get a lot of er errors in the readings because uh, there's a lot of loss in the board for example in the connector there that goes to the power saver Commodore saver that has uh, like 40 or 50 millivolt drop so I can't really read out the exact uh, cutout voltage but you can see I'm very close there it's 5.4 something very close to 5.4 actually now the, the thing overheats so so this was the initial setup it's a one regulator, LM317 and yeah, basically that's it and then uh, as you can see I here I had a demo load with some capacitance to just simulate the capacitance in the Condor 64 and all so. and here you can see there's a second LM317 and that's the current limiter I was afraid that I would uh, short circuit something so so I added that and also the bonus here that it shares the <laughs> the, he the power dissipation so this is just a close up though so yeah so that worked great also twelve volts in as you can see and I here I measure the voltage is also is presented to the C64 server so it's 6 volts it's a over voltage condition now I'm measuring at the dummy load and you see it's 0 and the input was 6 volts so but now I drag it down to 5 as you can see so. and at 5.4 something it uh, cuts out again I have made a little current limiter and uh, this is the voltage regulator and I pull out the voltage or current from exactly on the pin because uh, then I don't have to route all that current through this board because this board makes many losses and now I'm embarrassed though because now I'm going to try and adjust this one such that I get an over voltage on my actual computer. I've seen it on my demo load, it's, uh, it stops uh, over voltage perfectly. So we'll start with some more uh, safer voltages. Then I'll go for the full 12 volt, so wish me luck. The thing is that um, the power the Commodore 64 with this power supply. I need that 9 volt AC so therefore I need to I need this uh, to resolve this plug here such that I can connect the Commodore power supply such that I can get 9 volt and then I will get 5 volt from this board instead and then they are completely isolated so there shouldn't be any problems okay I feel confident enough to try it so I have already tried it I haven't tried 12 volt yet but I have adjusted this one up to 5.4 as you can see on the display so I'll try my best to hold the camera and do this at the same time because uh, <laughs> and now we have a 9 volt coming in so once I switch it on then uh, we have the all the AV stuff going on uh, but we don't have a digital or a power to the digital yet so then we have to switch on this one to get uh, 5 volt produced here and I can't do it for too long because this uh, <coughs> yeah 
did I heat up? So, okay, so let's see now. Okay, switch it on. 5 volt. Commodore 64. Be quick. Now you can see it's rising. Oop. And then it breaks. So, and when it's, if I wind it back, the 5 volt, it restarts again. So, that's working. So, let me do it a little bit slower this time. There. And then I go back. There. And it's back. So, uh, so far it seems okay. So, now the one thing. <laughs> I haven't slept all night. Uh, it's maybe it's not because of this this thing here, but uh, well, it has been allergy and stuff. So sorry that I'm itching my nose so much, but uh, I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do? Oh, I forgot about this heat thing. Ah, I forgot to tell you that. This uh, second one I've added, it's... Um, so, let me just switch it off. So, the second thing I added, that was uh, to stop any short circuit. Because... Yeah, the second one I added, that was because I wanted something to... Uh, to limit the current. So, that's the current limiter. It's set to 1.2 amperes. So you see the resistor on the back there. That's the one that programs it to keep it at uh, 1.2 amperes or 1.15 was I measured. So I actually tried that. I tried to pull more than 1.2 amperes and then it stops at 1.15. So if I pull even more, it it will just drop the voltage to try and keep the 1.15. So, yeah. So, but a, a nice bonus. That's um, this one overheat. If I like you saw before, I had it on for like 30 seconds or so. Uh, if I did that before, it will come of smoke and the voltage will drop. And then when you switch it off. And it will be fine again because it's really difficult to kill this uh, supply here. So that's another story. But uh, the bonus here is that um, this here, this <laughs> shares some of the voltage drop that needs to be done to get the 12 volt down to 5 volt. Because 12 minus 5 is 7. So this one has 7 volt times 1 amperes. That's 7 watts. 7 watt on that tiny shitty stuff that's quite a lot but <laughs> if you can share that between these two that's much better now so um yeah so now let's try the 12 volt oh my god so what i'm thinking of doing is the same thing that i've done before i, ha I have a loop and i when i touch the loop i want the 12 volt to pass through so uh, I have tried it many times and I also used my scope. I was actually planning to use this as a 12 volt source. And also another thing, <laughs> I could have used this for 5 volt because when I you do this I get 5.4. So I could just test it by uh, flipping this but uh, yeah, now I have tested with this variable though. But <laughs> the thing is when I tested the other day. I blew this circuit here, 12 volt circuit. I don't know what happened, but I had the short circuit somewhere on the board. So yeah, so uh, not uh, everything goes as planned, you know. So, but at least the Commodore is still alive, still alive. So, so what do you think, guys? Should I uh, should I do it? Ah, let's do it. 
Okay guys, what have I done now? I have connected, as you can see, this is the 12 volt source. I've connected that. Uh, that's connected as before to this device, but now I have taken that 12 volt and short circuited it so that it comes straight out on this wire. So now it's the question what will we see on our meter near? If I see 12 volt, I will shut it off at once. But I, fe I have a good feeling here, so now let's switch it on and let's see what happens. Nothing, absolutely nothing. So it works. So let's see if it's still alive. So I have to remove the fault there, like this. Switch it on, and this one, 5 volt. It's alive. And now the question is, <coughs> what if the computer is already, oh, let me switch this off. Let, what if the computer is already on, and then then suddenly, let's see, this is the power supply that's actually failing. The voltage goes from 5 volt then to 12 volt. What happens then? So I was thinking maybe I should just have it like this, and I have tested this before. Uh, if I have it like this, and I can just tap it down the hole. <laughs> but I have to have it such that I don't short circuit, because that's what happened to this one, I think. <laughs> So I blew the heck out of my power supply. But anyway, um, yeah. As you can see, this wire here, it's not all the way down. It's it's just resting there. So when I put my finger on it, we should get 12 volts. But our protection circuit will then uh, yield such that we get zero volt here. So we should get zero though. So. Crossing fingers again. <laughs> Pushing on. We have 5 volt. Right? So let's see what happens. Uh huh. And back out again. And it's still alive. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. So that actually worked. I put 12 volts straight into the Commodore but this device here it's a it's a Commodore 64 saver so yeah thank you for watching oh by the way the computer is now battery powered isn't that cool well halfway battery powered because all the AV circuits are powered by AC here so yeah but half the digital stuff is battery powered so, so let's switch it off oh. <laughs> oops good night